Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to the Sportsman's Journal. It's a beautiful fall day, mid-October. It absolutely is. We've had some beautiful weather lately. Sun is shining, trees are beautiful, they're starting to turn. And Sarah and I thought, you know what? Let's take advantage of this beautiful fall day. Let's go catch some fish. Tyler and I are at Tamarack and we are excited because today we're gonna target walleyes and we're gonna try to go after some big fish. Yep. We think we know what's going on. From past experiences. From past experiences, the fish have dropped off into kind of the deeper holes in this right. area of the lake. And so we're gonna go out, we're gonna drop basically a jig in a minnow in their the face mill. and Never catch walleyes fail. all day. Never fail, it's a great fall presentation, but we're gonna give them something a little different. We are gonna be targeting walleyes with Northland's new MVP yes. jig. And from first looks, it's got a really stout, Yep. Thick hook. Yep. I think the hook sets are going to be great. Great detail in the, in the head. We're the probably going to need big the pliers eye, which out. is huge. Yeah, we're probably going to need the pliers. Uh, the cool thing about the MVP Drake from Northland is, is that the early reviews on it is that it's fantastic with keeping fish pinned. That's so we're good. excited to see that. Yes. A lot of current on Lake of the Woods. A lot of fish in that deeper water. It can be tough to get good hook sets. Right. So we'll and, see. And we're on Lake of the Woods, multi species. Right. You never know no. what you're going to get. <laughs> So that, you know, it makes it a little bit, you get a little bit of an adrenaline rush, I think, oh, yeah. every time you set the hook because yep. you never know what's going to be on the other line. So uh, keeping fish pinned is a big deal. Yep. I'm really super excited to do it. It's beautiful weather right it's now. The leaves are turning. It's going to be a great day. I'm excited. And we're up at Tamarack Island, a beautiful place in the Lake of the Woods. Yeah, we're we excited. About that a lot. And guess what? There's, we've been marking fish since we've started talking. We were setting the cameras up. We got fish underneath us. Can we start fishing? Let's go ahead and All up. right, let's go. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. For their full lineup of UPF gear, check out strikerbrands.com. down a little bit. It's another one of those good eaters. Oh yeah. Look at that eye shine in the water. Oh, that's perfect. Get him up here. Yeah, that is good. We almost had dubs. Sarah just missed one. Yep. Don't worry, hon. I'll produce. Wow. There you go. That fish held on for a while. Did he? How's he feeling? Not big. Oh, not big. Sauger. Saugus. Cute little devil. Cute, cute devil. Ooh, a big sauger. We're dinking and dunking our way. Mm, he could be an eater if you were desperate. It's no big deal. Mm. Let me upgrade ya. He would probably go. It's not big. No. Okay. Another dink. Another oh, yeah. dink. They're uh, pretty though. I like catching fish, I do. But we gotta figure something out here, hon. They're You wanna make move? They're in the hole, but they're not big. Okay. But we gotta do something. I'm gonna check on my Navionics. Yeah. We probably If they're not in the hole. We're not doing it's not what we want. We're catching fish, but we gotta get on some bigs here. I think they're yeah, it's not quite what we expected. We we thought it would be a little more further along since it's mid October. But we've caught tons of fish already, but we caught mm -hmm. lots of little shorts, lots of little guys. Yeah, so what that's telling us, I guess, is that the water temp isn't as cold as we thought it would be, or has it has it it has been in the past. So the fish aren't quite as deep, so maybe they're up on uh, shelves leading into deep holes. Yeah, that's our next step. Let's go flats yeah. leading in or something where, where there's curves and we gotta figure out something.
There's some bend of the rod. Yeah, that one feels good. You want oh, me to yeah. grab, grab the net? Yeah, this was maybe a netter. Yeah. Okay, I am out there, so I'm putting my rod down, but just. That one. If he goes on a run, it. I got. That was sweet because reel in. We marked him on the Mega Live, and I looked down on my 2D, and he's sitting there. And so I just drop the old MVP down there and slap. Oh yeah, look at that. That's what we're after right there. Oh yeah. Swing. There you go. Yes. That's a nice one. That's what we're after. That is a. That's actually a beautiful, beautiful walleye. Great color on him. Oh my gosh. That. He's got a big belly. Yes. Right there is a thing of beauty. That is a dandy Lake of the Woods walleye. I need to get in on we this. Have caught, that is beautiful. Come fish. on in here. Wow. Oh my, look at how wide he is. Yeah. We have caught oh, hello. a ton of walleyes, and then you get one or two, three or four like this. That's a gorgeous oh fish. Oh my gosh, beautiful. he's showing off. Yeah. Beautiful. I love it. Big females like this, though, gotta go back. Well, yeah, you that. make sure you handle her with right care. There is a big, pinned i am way out there soon as that jig hit the bottom the old classic double and that fish was on i'll tell you what else is really nice is we're using braid and it's helping us out big time to detect those hits especially on the fall but when you're using braid and you're we're pitching out like we are with these mvp jig heads you got to have the appropriate rod you ready that, for me yeah, that fish is getting close here. Okay. What happens is that you get braid, there's no stretch, so there's no forgiveness. So you have to have a rod that's got a lot of give. And these new I can't ZRs even get a... from Kramer Custom Rod are perfect. You can see the bend in that rod. That's beautiful. And this is a really, this is a dandy fish, guys. This is another nice fish. Let's see how we do here. I'm trying to get a visual on him. Yeah, oh my goodness, down. he is Come staying on, down. Baby. He, wow. Bay pin. Look at this. Wow. Man. Here he is. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Sarah? Yes. All right, let's be honest. Sarah said we need to go try this spot. She was checking on Navionics and said, you know what? This spot looks similar to what we've been fishing. Let's go hit it up. It's, it's all Sarah on this one. She's, she's the guide today. Told us where to go. Put me on two dandies in a row. Good job. Woo! Good job, hon. Let's take a look at this beast. Take a look. Ha <laughs> ha yes. Wow. Back to back. That is almost identical twin. That fish might be a little bit longer. I think it's a little longer. It's a little bit longer. When gold just keeps coming out of the yeah. net, that's a good sign. Lake of the Woods gold. Yeah, when, <laughs> when the net keeps you producing the, gold. I can get the net out of the way here. Yeah, there, that's awesome. Oh my goodness. And look what's in the Gosh darn it. We have not lost a fish today. I'm not kidding you. Those jig heads. Once are you the get real them, deal. once you get them, get that initial hook yeah. set, that fish is on. That's a beast. I love it. Those fish have been right out here, right on top of a couple oh, of them right now. Working. Nice. There we go. How's that feel? Good? Ah, uh, it feels better than it has been. Are you seeing that here? Um, I don't think he's as big as yours, but she was right below the boat. Oh, she's coming right up. That's a nice fish. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Hold on, I'll get the net, I'll get the net. Okay. That's a dandy. That's another nice one. There we go. Yes. Oh, All right. Good job. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. That's a nice this fish. Is insane. Good job. That's three really good fish And you in know a row. what? Five minutes ago, this would have been the biggest of the trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when it rains, it pours. I mean, they just are going. We yeah. got a little cloud cover moving in, in and out. Yeah, a little bit of a front. I can't wait to show this fish off. I'm just struggling with the hook. I there think it go. has to do with the spot, you know? It's a good spot. This yeah. is a nice fish. Wow. That is fun. Not as big as Tyler's last two, but hey, I'll take third place right now. That's we're good. Bring in the bronze? Yeah. We're going to put this fish back. Definitely a release. This is kind of a cool spot. You can see behind me here, this is a big island that comes out. Obviously, there's thousands of islands on Lake of the Woods. 
but what we've been finding where most of the fish are is that they find that drop off on shore and it's not like a rocky, like a Boulder slow leaf. taper. It is a quick whoosh, drop. And then they're sitting on that flat right by that drop. And they're just kind of cruising around out here. Catch fish, I like it. MVP stuck that hog. I love it. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. Plan your next fishing trip at northlandtackle.com. There you go. That fish came up and walloped and it. smacked it. Oh my gosh. I even had a little kick with my foot on my hook set. I saw that. You yeah. like did a little eater? Uh, I don't, whoa, uh -oh. stay out of the trolling motor. Keep stay out of the, the trolling motor. Keep mad at Dakota. There you go. Force him out of there a little bit. Wow. He's got some pull. I know they do, don't they? There we go. Oh my gosh, oh. that's a good one. That's a good one. It's another one yes. like. Yes. Another, that's another dandy. <sighs> Feels good. All right. We have found several pods of small yep. eaters. And we thought, you know what? We're going to move. We're going to try a little bit different area. It's a good fish. And we got some bigs. We did. We got some bigs. That was a dandy. Thank you. Another good one. The year I like classes, that. I like that. The year classes are teaching us something. So we thought when we first got here that we would be fishing in deeper holes. The, the fish would be schooling up, getting ready for winter, and all we were catching was smaller ones, the smaller year classes. You know, anywhere from, we were catching probably eight inches oh, yeah. up to, you know, 15, right. 16, and that really wasn't what we were after. So we kind of sat down, we kind of looked over the map and thought, okay, what can we do? And so we scooted up. We scooted up from those deep holes onto the flats, so the 24, 22, 21 foot flats just above those deep holes. And that's where these bigger girls are roaming. So they're getting ready to go into the wintering holes, but yep. they're not there yet. So they're feeding up on these flats and that's where we found them. So you can kind of read the water a little bit too with what you're catching. We were catching smaller fish. They were already in the wintering holes. We didn't want those. We wanted to come up a little bit shallower and see if the big girls were there. Right. And they were. So. And that, that's like the next step, right? Deeper, go a little shallower. Yep. yep. That's perfect, perfect. That's where they're at. You work on one? Yeah. On the old mega? <laughs> oh my goodness. That is too much fun. Are you having fun? We found him on the flat. They it's are on confirmed. The flat. This is a nice fish. Yes, I saw it him. Is. It's a big eye. Oh geez. It's a real big eye. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Come on, buddy. Keep him out of the you got two more giants coming in. Two more big ones showed up on the mega. Wow. You're doing good. He's pulling. He oh is gosh. pulling. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. This is so much fun. Ooh, they he's are circling. just battling. Look at this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's out. Wow. You did perfect. Did he pop off? He did. You know, he, Must have been the, the MVP net. lets him go right at the right yeah. time. You know what I mean? <laughs> Most valuable player Let's right see that there. Thing. Wow. Most valuable player is right. I am loving the MVP jigs right now. Look at the girth on that. That is crazy. There is some weight there. When you get the big the big mamas, that feels so good. Wow. I mean, we've been catching fish all day and we are putting some tanks in the boat on top of action. My foot's cramping a little bit. <laughs> it is so fun. Wow. I better drink some water. Stay hydrated out here. She's going to go back. Look at that beauty. Wow. Make sure I Check my leader here and my knot. Caught caught a few fish there. Yeah, I know. We caught a lot of fish. I got to reload with a minnow on here. You know, it's no secret that I like jig and minnow fishing. Um, if you follow us, if you watch us for a long time, I love jig and minnow. Basically any season, any species. And I've used a lot of jigs. Yeah. And I can honestly say that the MVP jig from Northland right yes. now, and we're going to break it down for you, but is becoming a top favorite for multiple reasons. Yeah. It looks good. It's got really good detail in the jig head. I, That's the first thing I noticed about it. Big eye. I love the big eye on any type of bait. It's part of their Elite Series, the MVP, because they all have Gamagatsu hooks. 
This is a big river hook, and it's, you can see that it's very stout, it's very thick, and it has a special curve to it. And that special curve is making for a wider gap for better hook sets. Yep. The hook is actually pointed down just a little bit. Yep. And then the design feature is so that it lines up exactly with the eyelet for a straight pullback so that Every you're time, getting yep. as much leverage as possible. Every time. And the other thing about the wide gap in the hook is it's good for holding on live bait and plastics, but yeah. once you have a fish hooked, that extra gap, you have a lot of wiggle room for that hook to move around and it's not getting the torque to pop out mm -hmm. when a fish especially walleyes, do their head shakes. Yep. So that's another reason why you're keeping them pinned. And the other cool thing, Sarah mentioned that hook being pointed down. Lake of the Woods, where we're fishing, it's a ton of rocks. It's rocks everywhere. And you're fishing in rocks all the time. And with that point of that hook facing down, when you're dragging it over those boulders, dragging it over the trunk rock, pulling it over the granite slabs, you're not getting that hook scraping on rocks. No, so what's not. that mean? Ultra sharp hook, 24 seven, every hook set, the walleyes are feeling it. Go check them out. We're going to get more wallets. That feels good. Wow. The fish? Yeah. I, I watched just, him on the live. Just got a minnow on. He came up and figure eight it underneath it. Looks he like I'm not came using up the and minnow. pounded it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> I'm getting like the 1920 inch you specialist. You are. You there. leave the 24s and 25s for me. I oh, like it. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to find the bigger ones here. I think I could pop his jig head right out. No, I can't. Gosh, we just talk about these hook sets, and they are just insane. I mean, you're not. You're once you get a fish. That's a solid fish. They are pinned. I got a good grip on him because I don't want him to go anywhere. And the big thing that we're doing with the MVP jigs today right. is that we're pitching them out. So we're not really vertical jigging a whole lot. Sometimes if we mark fish underneath it, we'll drop down and get them. But a lot of these fish are coming away from the boat. And the big thing is, is to watch to make sure you're on the bottom. And that can be tough to do if you're not vertical jigging when you're fishing them away from the boat, especially with wind. So what I'm doing is casting it out and you watch that line. And when that line gets a bow in it and kind of starts free flying in the wind, you know you're on the bottom. So then I start popping it back, pop it back, watch that line. When you hit the bottom, the line will get all of a sudden loose and it'll be able to move in the wind like it is right now. It's moving around. Then you know you're on the bottom, start popping it back. But a lot of the times what's happening are the fish are hitting it as it falls. So I'm able to detect that bite through that braid. That's why braid's so important. And that's huge today, especially in the wind and especially away from the boat. Watching that line and keep that rod at about a 90 degree angle. As soon as I, get it, as soon as I feel or see that strike, I'm able to set the hook right away and that's in a perfect position. Tight lure straight to a hook set. I'm not missing a lot of fish. There's some bend in the rod. There though. is, there is, there that is. I better. think this could be, this could be our last eater of the day. Yes, it's a perfect eater. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, come here, buddy. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, he's actually a little too thick for the old swinging. Look at that fish. Wow. That is perfect. Unbelievable. What do you think, hon? Really? Pretty special day. Yes, it has And I'm been. telling you what, look at that hook set. Can you get in there and take a zoom? Top, lip, almost every time, and deep. They are not getting off of this thing. Sarah, you're yeah. my most valuable player most of the time in a boat, but I'm <laughs> telling you right now, the little jig head from Northland. It was pretty, it's, it's giving you a run for your money. I can't even get it out of the guy's mouth. It doesn't want to come out. There it is. Look at that. Perfect. Drop him in right here. Nothing better than a Canadian fish fry after an awesome day on the water. Super excited. We experienced a little bit of showers on us <laughs> as we drove in. And we're trying to wrap things up. There's supposed to be a kind of a front coming in and there's gonna be some rain tonight. So we needed to get back and of course we wanna celebrate and relax our yeah, awesome yeah, day. So <laughs> it was a phenomenal day. And I think it goes to show that when you have a plan in your mind and it doesn't quite it's not, the fish aren't there, it's not coming together. Now we caught a lot of nice fish, but we wanted big ones and they were not in the deep holes. So what we have to do as anglers, you have to adapt. Yeah, we talk about that all the time. You have to be able to adapt. You can have a plan in place, but the fish don't care what your plan is. Nope. They care about what's going on in their environment and the environmental factors that are yeah. affecting the fish and, and basically their forage base. Right. So yeah, the big one said, no, we're not ready to get in our wintering yeah. holes. We, we, fished, <laughs> we fished actually several different 
deep holes that we caught fish before. And then Sarah, Finally the, MV, the, the MVP, the MVP of the day. We're we had really, co-MVPs. We're really throwing around the MVPs. We had co-MVPs. North of Jake had I would course, like a trophy. Phenomenal. And then your call <laughs> to go fish some flats on top of the holes before you get to yep. them or behind them. You, typically they're on top of them because there is a little bit of a current coming mm -hmm, in on Lake right. of the Woods, kind yeah. of everywhere. But the narrow spots with holes with the flat on top leading into the deep hole with the current it's coming in or the where wind. That's the bait was getting pushed that, into. Right, and that's where the food was getting pushed yeah. and that's where the big walleyes were. It yeah. was fun. It was fun. We had a really good couple hours there yeah. after searching for, uh, you know, we ex we tried in the deep holes and we yeah. had to search around a little bit and then we marked some fish and then we started catching some fish and it was a really, it was awesome. really good time. Got nice wall bangers. All on the MVP jig. All on one all in one jig head. It did a really uh, good job. Very, it's a, it's a, it's a kind versatile. of a jig head. Versatile. That's a key word. That's what we were today as well. We were versatile <laughs> trying to the fish. We had a versatile lure that caught. I feel like we're really patting ourselves on the back. Well, sometimes you have to just kind of take it all in and accept the fact that you had a, an amazing day. We did. Not every day on the water yeah. is an amazing day. And right. some days we work really hard for it. And today we, we worked, but uh, it really, we were rewarded, I we think, were. for that. that was it was awesome. It was a really good and, day. And for everybody at home, Sarah is always my MVP. Oh. No, no matter what, she's, and she's number one. MVP. On that note, however, the jig head did come in and it held up to its reputation. The MVP jig. Mm -hmm. We caught a lot of fish. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you get a chance to go to Tamarack, take advantage. Lake of the Woods, beautiful place, full of fish. We'll see you next week on the Sportsman's Journal. To stock up on the MVP jig and everything else Northland, head over to NorthlandTackle.com. The Deep Feed Bucktail Jig from Northland Tackle. This keel design gets you down faster. Add to that a unique range of colors, sizes, and the bucktail with its natural presentation delivers unmatched performance. Northland Tackle. We are walleye.